Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau eyeshadow palette. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. This palette retails for $55 at Sephora, Ulta Beauty, and ABH Online. I do want to read a little bit about this palette on Sephora's website. An all-in-one palette for immediate effortless looks from on the go to ultra glam. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's nothing on the top and there's nothing printed on the bottom. Same thing on the side of the packaging, there's nothing there. And then here's what the back of the palette looks like. You have the list of ingredients, you have a little picture of the shades that are included. It does state that it was made in the USA and it has a 12 month shelf life. Let's open this up. Here's what the actual eyeshadow palette looks like. It says Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like the texture of the palette. Here's what the back looks like. Let's open it up. Here's what all 12 shadows look like and it does come with a mirror. The pan size in this palette is bigger than their previous palettes. I did purchase a new Soft Glam palette. Here's what the Soft Glam palette looks like compared to their Nouveau palette. As you can see, the Soft Glam palette does have more shades, but the Nouveau palette does have a bigger pan size. I am kind of sad that it doesn't come with an eyeshadow brush. Just wanted to show you guys the difference. Let's go ahead and start swatching. The first shade in the palette is called Wings. Ooh, this is so soft in the pan. Here's what Wings looks like. Wings is described as a metallic silver green with sparkle reflect. Let's blend this out. That shade is so beautiful. The second shade is called Isle. Again, very soft in the pan. Isle is described as a metallic blonde gold. That's very pretty. Again, that's so beautiful. The third shade in the palette is called Belle. Again, super soft in the pan. Belle is described as a metallic antique bronze. These are super pigmented and swatching very nicely. Look how beautiful that blended out. Next up, we have Wisteria. Ooh, very soft in the pan. Wisteria is described as a matte pastel lavender with sparkling reflex. I expected this shade to be a little bit more pigmented. This is considered a pressed pigment. I'm gonna see if we can build it up. That's much better. The second to last shade on the top row is called Lily. Lily is described as a metallic rose gold with multi-dimensional reflex. That is so beautiful. The last shade in the top row is called Hope. Hope is described as a metallic olive green with gold reflex. That is so beautiful. All of these shadows are very pretty. Again, that blended out really easily. The first shade in the bottom row is called Paloma. This is a matte shade. Paloma is described as a matte cream ivory with sparkling reflex. Again, this shade is a pressed pigment. I expected a little bit more pigmentation. So again, I'm gonna try to build it up. Paloma looks a little bit ashy on the back of my arm, but we'll see how it looks on the eyes. Next shade is called Fleur. Again, we have a matte shadow. Here's what that looks like. Fleur is described as a matte golden peach. You can barely see the shade in Fleur on the back of my arm. Again, I'm gonna build it up. There we go, that's a bit better. The next shade is called Liberty. Liberty is described as a matte muted hunter green. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't like how that blended out on the back of my arm. Again, I'm gonna build it up. See, it looks pretty when you first swatch it, but then when you blend it out, it looks a little bit weird. Next up, we have the shade in Peacock. 
Peacock is described as a duochrome bluish green brown with pink reflex. That shade is so beautiful. The second to last shade is called Metro. Metro is described as a matte rich clay. I'm gonna build it up. Here's what the shade in Metro looks like blended out. The last shade in the palette is called Muse. Muse is described as a metallic dark chocolate brown. That is super pigmented. Here's what all 12 shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. Now we're gonna create a look using this palette. Taking a fluffy crease brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in Fleur. I'm gonna apply that in my crease, going back and forth, doing windshield wiper motions. You can barely see that shade. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other eye. Again, you can barely see that shadow, but it's a great transition shade. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in Liberty. I'm gonna apply this in my outer V, doing circular motions. Liberty is very pigmented. Swapping my brush for a flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the shadow in Hope. Pack this in the center of my lid. Hope is so gorgeous. I do wanna see what it looks like using my finger. Oh yeah, way more pigmented. That's beautiful. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in Wings. Apply that in the inner corner. That shade is stunning. I love how the eyeshadow look turned out, but I do wanna apply one more shade. I wanna see what the shade in Peacock looks like. Again, using my finger. I'm just gonna pop this in the center. Maybe that was a bad idea. It looks a little bit too muddy. I'm gonna go back in with the shade in Hope and try to brighten that up a bit. Here's what the eyeshadow look looks like. I do have a little bit of fallout underneath both of my eyes. I'm gonna clean that up and then I'll be right back. For mascara, I'm gonna apply the Rare Beauty Volumizing Mascara. For lips, I'm gonna apply the Rare Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Wise. If you have not seen my lip swatch review on these lipsticks, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you're interested. Here's what everything looks like. My final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette is that I really do like it. There are seven shimmers and five matte shades in this palette, which I think is a lot of shimmers in my opinion. I don't think I can use this palette as a standalone palette. I would have to incorporate another neutral palette. I would have loved if this palette had a chocolate brown matte shade. I still have to play with this palette a bit more. I do wanna play with this lavender shade. I wanna see what that looks like on the eyelid. I did have a bit of a hiccup earlier applying the shade in Peacock in the center of my lid. The eyeshadow looked a little bit muddy when I applied that shade in Peacock. I wouldn't necessarily apply all of these shades on my eyes, even though I wanted to play with all of the shadows. This palette has great earthy tones and it does have a little bit of fallout, especially with the shimmer shadows. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking up this palette or if you already have it in your collection. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.